All right, so if you are completely new to V-Ray, I wanna give you the quickest, easy way to render anything against just a simple white background lighting studio. So what you can do is just go under Create, make a plane, Auto Grid, just drag out a plane, hit F4 to show etched faces, and then right click, make it an editable poly, select the edges on the side, or you can just click Loop to select them all hit W and then hold shift and drag to extrude the edge and then hold shift again and then hold shift again and just angle it like this and then you can make it with a roof basically like this as well and what you can do now is just add a turbo smooth modifier on top and give it two iterations and isoline display and you can hit R and just scale it you can hit G to hide the grid hit F4 to hide etched faces and this is our little studio so now I can just go under extended primitives and make a simple torus knot in here and now you can just go under create lights V-Ray V-Ray light and just make one drag it up E to rotate it 90 degrees set the multiplier to I usually do 2.5 and just sort of scale it up like this maybe move it up and then you can hold shift drag and you can just click on mirror mirror it on the y-axis right and inside of your material editor you can just create a new V-Ray material make it almost pure white so something like this right 238 I usually don't make it pure white because it can get very blown out and you sort of want to avoid um, completely pure white right you want to have the ability to brighten this up in post but if you make something completely pure white it's sort of hard to fix in post so I'll just make it slightly gray and set the reflection pretty high something like this and you can just lower the glossiness which is how shiny it is so maybe just 0.4 apply that to the plane here and then we can just copy this material and make it maybe just black and make it more reflective and assign that to our tours knot and maybe if you need to extend the front of it, you can just go back under the edge, select all the edges and just drag. Now, if you wanna make sure that the object is centered in your scene, you can click on this little plus and go to configure viewports, save frames and click on this 12 field grid four by three, okay. And you can hit shift F to show save frames. Um, to show the lines. So you can put it right in the middle of your scene and the aspect ratio is wrong. So in your render settings, you can set the output size to HDTV and it'll make it 16 by nine. And then you can just sort of zoom in onto this, make sure that it's centered and you can do control C to make a camera. And you can just enable the VRA viewport IPR to see what this looks like. And this is basically your most simple little studio lighting. If you wanted to, you could copy this front light just hold shift and make another light in the front. Now, if this happens, it's because the light is not invisible. So you just need to go under options and make it invisible so it doesn't block the camera. And you can put it up front here and maybe just lower the intensity of this one to just like one. And then if you wanted to, you could put another light on top. So a lot of times in my tutorials, you will see me say, so I will just unhide my lights and this is usually what my super basic lighting studio looks for my tutorials, just a few lights. And some of you who are beginners have been asking about this, so I just wanted to do this once and for all and just show you my super simple rendering setup. Right, so for your render settings, I will usually just do type bucket and set this to two and four. If there is a lot of noise in the render, I will do four, eight. Uh, but usually two and four is enough and then for the GI I would just raise the sub disk for the light cache to 2500 and that's it that's how I render most of my stuff for tutorials or just like quick drafts for clients or anything like that there's obviously a lot to learn about lighting there's three-point lighting there's colored lights right there's V-Ray Sky HDRI lighting lots of different techniques a lot of which I have tutorials for on my channel but just wanted to show you this just in case you are new to V-Ray Oh, and one more thing, if you wanted that helicopter like I do in the thumbnail, it's just the helicopter from the Chaos Cosmos library. So you can go under 3D models here, vehicles, and down here is the helicopter. So you can just import that into your scene. It's gonna come in huge, but this is exactly what I did for the thumbnail. 
So if you found it helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.